Today's string tip is on martelet. What is it and how is it executed properly and how is it used? Um, and some of you may say, oh yeah, I know that. Well, um, you might want to watch anyway just because um, sometimes we get in bad habits and it's great to just go back, back up and just try your fundamentals again to make sure that everything is working properly. Some of you may be wondering, what is martelet? So, um, so I'll address that. What is martelet? Well, uh, martelet is a uh, short bow stroke, so um, you have to start from a set position on the string, um, and then you end up playing short, uh, like this. Now here are a couple of things to note about martelet. Um, this is what it should sound like in the end. Uh, so a few things. First of all, it's very important to get that bow set. Uh, by the way, this is for violins, violas, cellos, basses. This technique is the same on all instruments. I'm going to demonstrate on violin because, you know, that's what I play. <laughs> okay, so um, you simply put your bow um, sort of in the lower half but towards the middle, um, and you want it to be set. You want it to be stuck to the string um, so that it's not uh, really movable. It's not fluffy. Okay, so you set it in there, and you kind of press the stick um, into the string like this. Can you see my stick? I'll turn sideways. So you can see that stick kind of pressing in. You want to make sure that you've got that stick down towards the hair so that the bow is stuck to the string. Then when you pull, you release that stuckness like that. So then that produces sort of a set and then a release. Now you want to do that set on the way down. And you also want to do that set on the way up. So the, the way that you begin learning martelet, if you haven't done it before, is simply by setting and pulling. A lot of times at first you'll hear this, you know, because you'll, you'll press too hard. So set and then release. Okay? And it's also different from staccato in that staccato um, is shortened on the back end. Like this. Hear that choked off sound? Martelet is released on the back end, so it should ring a little bit. Um, so you would practice this by setting and pulling, and then resetting and re-pulling. Um, the biggest problem with this is typically people who say set, pull, set, pull. I got it. Okay, good. I'm doing Martelet now. <laughs> um, so instead, you want to make sure that you're more methodical than that, and that you really set and then pull, set, pull. Careful to listen for that k, that consonant sound at the beginning. And then that release and that ring. So I've only demonstrated it on one open string because when you learn a new skill or you work on a fundamental old skill, you want to make sure that you've isolated it down to its smallest portion. So the smallest way that I can isolate this is by simply doing one open string. Obviously, you can expand then to the other open strings, you can cross strings, try it in a, a scale, and then maybe try it in a piece. Um, and ultimately, um, this is often used in a lot of um, Baroque music um, and, and a lot of different music when you want to just play um, nice short notes that ring, like this. Okay, so um, that's kind of your goal. Um, so. I hope that little tutorial in Martelet was helpful for you.